You want to vlog, but you just don't know how to start. Well, I'm gonna give you five helpful tips for you to start vlogging. So if you wanna know more about these tips, watch till the end of this video. And of course, don't forget to like this video, click subscribe and hit that bell button so you'll get updates on my videos later on. This is GeoTube. Okay, you want to vlog, but you just don't know how to start. So I'm gonna give you five tips, as I've mentioned, on how to start vlogging. These tips are based on my experience, okay? I'm not a seasoned vlogger. I have started vlogging in April of 2020, and well, I have reached 1,000 subscribers, one, more than 1,000 subscribers, finally, this month. And I have already claimed it that I will be monetized this month as well. So thank you so much for subscribing. Daghang salamat sa mga subscribe Thank you so much for your support. So I'm just gonna share with you these five important tips because, you know, these tips have actually helped me in my vlogging career in creating contents here on YouTube. All right, so let's get it on. Number one, purpose. What is your purpose, okay? Find that purpose. Ask yourself, why is it that I want to vlog? Some people are comedians, you know, they are born comedians and they want to make people laugh. A lot of people are also in the education industry. If you want to teach something, okay, um, anything, all right? If there is something that you have in mind that you think that you are very good at it, then make a video out of it, okay? Teach some people on how to do this and how to do that. It's like a tutorial video. Some people just want to share their talents, okay? They love to sing, they love to dance, anything, all right? There should always be a purpose on why you should do vlogging, all right? Or you should vlog, you should create contents on YouTube. And well, this is the case for people like us because we are not celebrities. We are not popular. We are not the Tom Cruise. The, we are not Nicole Kidman. We are not Sharon Conetta. We are not um, Elena Darna or anybody else um, who are, you know, very popular already. And anything that they want to do, even if they just, you know, eat somewhere or do shopping like that, they don't need to make an effort for them to get noticed because they are already popular. But again, for people like us, we have to think hard on what kind of content, all right? What kind of topic, anything that you are good at, we are good at, that we can, you know, show to people and that people will get hooked. In my case, um, well, of course, I'm not popular. I'm not a celebrity. It all started um, in April of this year during the lockdown. I was stuck in the house for two and a half months. And um, during that time, I was searching on YouTube on how to earn online. So I ended up working as an ESL teacher, teaching English as a second language. So I got hired by a lot of companies. So I thought of um, documenting my progress in the ESL online teaching. So that, so that was actually the reason why. I started vlogging. So on the first day of working as an ESL teacher, immediately after teaching for five straight hours, I made a video of myself, you know, because I was just so happy that time. I was so glad that I finally was able to, you know, teach online successfully. So I just immediately, I propped up my cell phone, just my iPhone, and then I made a video of myself. I think it was like a 10 minute video. Hi, my name is Gio, and welcome to my first ever vlog. Yeah, as you can see, I have this beard. I'm going to do it. Um, as long as we are in quarantine, it's the 26th of April, 2020. And um, yes, the quarantine is extended for another, well, until May 15, I believe. And I'm not going to show you this until the quarantine ends. So again, as I mentioned, that first video was simply a result of my happiness, okay? of my happiness that um, I was able to teach, I was finally able to teach online, you know? So I just wanted to share that happiness to everyone. My purpose at that time was just to share the happiness, that's it. As time progressed, the purpose was becoming more clear because I was already making a lot of videos about 
you know, helping people on how to earn online. The first reason was that I want to help people earn online through online teaching. So another one is that this is my second niche is that since I'm connected to online teaching, I use laptop. So I have videos as well, um, making reviews about this and that laptop. All right. So I have online teaching and reviews about laptop. And the third niche is what I'm doing right now. I want to create videos on how to help people do or start vlogging. All right. So this is now my third niche. Okay. So my purpose is basically to help people. Number two, just start taking videos and upload them. All right. Press record and just upload them on YouTube. Don't be scared. I know it's going to be awkward at first. You know, it's really awkward talking to yourself all by yourself on your camera or your cell phone, but you'll get used to it and it's going to be messy at first, but you know, just, just let it flow. You know, just let it be. Um, you will learn in the process, right? So, um, don't be scared. A lot of people are thinking, oh, I think people will bash me. People will, you know, make bad comments about my video. People will just make fun of me. There will be people who will make negative comments on your video. You cannot avoid them. All right. So just be yourself and just take videos, press that record button and just, you know, go for it. And here's a tip. This is what I've been using actually up until now because I already have the camera with me. So this was my camera, just my iPhone XR. So here's a tip. If you want to use your phone, make sure that you're not doing it vertically. You should always do it horizontally. All right. And another one is that make sure that you're looking at the lens of your camera or your phone and not on the screen. Okay. So press that record button and just upload your videos. Even if you're not ready as what my virtual mentor in a way would always say, and he is Shan Cannell, um, start before you're ready. All right. Just start. Even if you're not ready before you're ready, because you will learn in the process. Your first video is going to be the messiest of them all. Okay, so don't worry if the video is not really that good because this brings us to number three, perfection. Don't be a perfectionist. Okay, avoid perfection. If you are still starting, if you're still a beginner, because you know why, why I'm telling you this, um, a lot of us are thinking, you know, I have to buy a camera. I have to buy a good cell phone to start vlogging. I have to buy a good lighting for me to start vlogging. I need to, to buy makeup so that I will look good. And I need to, um, you know, I need to learn how to edit and I will purchase this premium video editing app or something like that. And when the video is already there, you will spend so much time, so much time editing the videos, trying to make the video as perfect as much as possible. And by the time you upload the video and then publish it on YouTube after, you know, after 24 hours or two days or something like that, there are no views of that video and then you'll get depressed. So don't spend your money yet, you know, on buying this and that gadget so that you can start vlogging. I didn't have lighting. I didn't have uh, a camera that time. I simply used my phone because I learned from my mentor, Shan Cannell, that even if you have phone, you can start vlogging. And also our smartphone has a lot of apps that we can use so we can edit videos. So don't be a perfectionist. That's tip number three. And now let's go to number four. And this is my favorite. Find a virtual mentor. My virtual mentor is Shan Cannell. I am so thankful that I found this guy on YouTube because he's been helping me a lot, so much about uh, vlogging, about creating contents on YouTube. And he has this channel and this is Think Media. I watched a lot of his videos on Think Media and I'm so thankful that um, he's there, you know? He's got a lot of helpful tips and everything is free. And that's the best thing about YouTube because, you know, you can see a lot of videos on tutorial videos, how to do this and that, and you will get them for free. 
So again, find your virtual mentor. You will find on YouTube your mentor as you go along, all right? So I do a lot of research on YouTube, so I found Shan Cannell. You might find yours as you go along. And what I learned from Shan Cannell is going to be my number five tip, and that is never compare yourself to others. It's not really good to compare yourself to others. So let's just say you and your friend are starting vlogging at the same time. And then after a month, you only have, you know, a hundred subscribers. And then your friend has got, well, 500 subscribers. So if your personality is a jealous type and you always compare yourself to others, you will be comparing yourself to your friend as well. Then you will get really disappointed and you will end up hating your friend. All right. So never do that. And also, well, okay. Um, you want to compare yourself to, to another vlogger that has got already a lot of subscribers, like a thousand subscribers, and you are doing the same content and you only got like 200 or 300 subscribers after three months. And then you want to compare yourself to that person who has been blogging, vlogging for like, you know, more than a year. So never compare your beginning to someone else's middle. All right. So just continue what you are doing. Enjoy the process. You will learn as you go along, just like in my case, you know, it took me months for me to be able to learn how to, you know, to vlog properly. My first video was so funny, was so messy, but well, you know, it got like almost 2000 views, you know, but I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. You know, I will never delete that video. That will serve as a memento, you know, of myself doing my first ever vlog for GeoTube. I could still remember the first few weeks or, you know, first two or three months of being involved on YouTube that I was asking my friends, oh, please like, I mean, please subscribe to my channel and even sending messages to my friends on Facebook, you know, asking them to, it's like begging, you know, begging, oh, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. And, you know, come to think of it, why would you ask? I mean, if this happens to you, if you're now vlogging, ask yourself, why would you ask these people to subscribe to your channel and what will they get from you? Okay. So in my case, I was asking people to subscribe to my channel. It's, it was very selfish of me. I was telling them to subscribe to my channel and what do they get in return? If, you know, I was only creating videos, you know, nonsense video, you know, nonsensical videos, and they will click subscribe and they will be forced to watch my videos. It's very selfish of you to ask people to subscribe to your channel and then you're not giving something good in return. You're not creating good contents that will actually help them in return. In my short span of time of being involved in uh, content creation here on YouTube, I learned to become responsible. You know, I have a responsibility to create good videos because People are subscribing to my channel, so I must bring something good to the table. So guys, remember these five tips that I mentioned. Number one, find your purpose. What is your purpose? Number two, just start recording yourself and upload them on YouTube. It's going to be messy, all right? Just trust the process. Just press record and upload them anyway. Number three is that don't be too perfect, all right? Perfection is not the key. Stop being perfect, all right? Just be messy again. I mean, just let, let it be, all right? Number four is find a virtual mentor. Mine is Shen Cannell. You may find yours as you go along. And number five, never compare yourself to people. Never compare your beginning to someone else's middle. And that is from Shen Cannell. Okay, so that's all for now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me once again. And I hope that you have learned a thing or two on my video. So again, don't forget to like this video, click subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so you'll get updates on my videos later on. This is GeoTube.